I'm getting a lot of questions for my seven illegal rental agreement clauses that could make your lease unenforceable video. I'm going to address a good question that I recently received involving lead-based paint disclosures. And that's the topic of this video. Well, hello again, everyone. I'm attorney Robert Flusses. If you're new to my channel, since you're already here, now may be a good time to subscribe. Because if you subscribe, you'll know where to go to get answers to your legal questions. I received a question from Shakia, who's looking to rent a studio apartment. The landlord is trying to make Shakia pay $175 for a lead-based paint inspection before she signs the lease. She asks, what do I do? Well, here's my answer. It's a landlord's obligation to disclose to a prospective tenant if lead-based paint hazards are contained in the unit before you sign a lease. That's the federal law. Lead-based paint can be found in homes built before 1978. But you can't always rely on these disclosures, though, because the landlord is simply stating whether or not they are aware of lead-based paint in the unit. It could be that the landlord truly doesn't know or the landlord does know and is failing to disclose. I'd say a landlord should know if the unit contains lead-based paint before renting any of their units. If you accept the unit and the landlord disclosure states that they're not aware of any lead-based paint, then Shakia subsequently rents the unit and discovers lead-based paint, then it becomes a matter of proof a failure to disclose. In other words, you'd have to prove that the landlord knew but failed to properly disclose. If Shakia doesn't trust the disclosure, then it may be appropriate to have an inspection done if it's very important to her. But you have to decide if you want to pay a landlord an additional $175 for inspection. And here's the problem. The landlord told her that the maintenance man is going to perform the inspection. He works the landlord. I wouldn't allow that. A certified lead inspector is the only qualified person to perform such an inspection. Finally, Shakia wants to know if there's no lead-based paint found in the unit at the inspection by the maintenance person, does the landlord have to give her the $175 back? Well, good question. You're probably not going to get the money back. Shakia, unless you really want that place, I'd think twice about renting it. You should probably educate yourself on what to look for if a unit contains lead-based paint. Lead-based paint is dangerous for young children because we all know they put everything in their mouth, including paint chips. Those paint chips can contain lead. I have a link below to the EPA's brochure on lead-based paint. You should have that and read it. I'm sure you can find videos that address that on YouTube too. I'm attorney Robert Flessis. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.